Hello. Welcome to the internet. I'm having a finishing a snack before I start. Um, it's just a breakfast bar, blueberry flavored. Welcome. This week we're doing something different. Instead of our usual watercolor, we're going to paint some jars. Yay. This is also part of a birthday present for my daughter. So, shh, don't tell her. All right. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've got an assortment of acrylic paints here. I've got a tray to mix my colors on. Water. Brushes. Jars. I think this is a pickle jar. And this is a baby food jar. And we have some li Liquitex concentrated artist acrylic colors. We've got light permanent light green, iridescent stainless steel, navy. We have a Winsor and Newton uh, artist acrylic in Hunter Hooker's green and a Reeves acrylic in Mars Black. Um, I get a lot of my acrylics art supplies at the secondhand store, uh, Goodwill. And so I have a variety of different ones. I can, this is my tub of paints. Um, some of them I do buy. I think I bought this one, which is a transparent gold. But a lot of them have been donated to Goodwill. So there's some Liquitex acrylic, a lot of those, a lot of the Windsor Newtons. Um, I picked up when I first started at the Reeves was a cheap, inexpensive set. I also have some fabric paint in here, some uh, basics from Liquitex, some golden fluid acrylic. Uh, that's it. I think Liquitex is my favorite brand but it doesn't really matter as long as the consistency is good i got mainly these guys because i think they're more of a liquid and i think i want liquid versus the thick body paint but if it is too thick we can always um thin it down with some water this is a if you've ever gotten like one of those deli salads that comes with like the dressing and then the three things on top of a bowl of Lettuce, that's what this is from. Good to recycle. I've used this many, many times, as you can see. And it's just a handy place to place my paints and mix them. I'm going to start by trying to pa painting the lids because what's the point of having a decorative um, just, there we go. A de a, having a decorative jar if the lids are not pretty, right? Um, I think we'll go with the stainless steel. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe some Mars Black. Um, oop, that just burped on me. So with the liquid ones, give them a nice shake to make sure they're thoroughly mixed. And for this, I guess we'll use a larger brush. I got out a bunch of little brushes. I got some water, because water goes good with acrylic paint. You can thin it down some. And we're just gonna start painting that on there. There we go. Get a nice, thick coat to try and make it even. I'm going to end up painting my fingers because I'm not very neat at doing this. That's okay. I think that shows a sign of being a good artist if you get paint all over yourself. It means you're, you're involved, you get into your work. 
I don't think this is going to cover in one coat, so we might have to do two coats, and that's okay. I'm kind of leaving the golder, golder brass edge on there. All right, that one's got one coat. So that one's going to be for me. And this larger one, the pickle jar, is going to be for my daughter. And she's more of a black and green kind of girl. So just swish that brush really well. I'm kind of, I'm rubbing at the bottom of the jar to make sure I spread out all the bristles to get all the paint out of my bristles. And then I think we're going to get, try some of this black. Let's see if this is still good. Some of these are not so great because the caps are broken off and so they're dried up inside, especially these little tubes. That's the only downside with secondhand paint is you don't always know what the quality and consistency of the paint you're going to get is. So you have to kind of work with it. All right, dry off our brush. There's so many jars. Luckily, I'm not drinking from a jar this week. Ooh, that would make it even more tough. So I'm just adding a little bit of water and mixing this around because this is a pretty thick pasty, looks like even lumpy paint, and I don't want it to be that way. There we go. Um, so we're just gonna put a coat of that on there. This is going on nicely. Now, I don't know how much, well this is gonna hold up because I don't have any like primer to put it on metal so we'll see maybe it'll work fairly well and maybe it won't um try not to shine the light off the lid into the camera but you know if i do sorry so my birthday was the 11th and my daughter's birthday is on the 31st so we usually get together around the 21st and celebrate our what we call our half birthday because it's halfway between the 20 the, the 11th and the 20 and the 31st. I can talk blah blah blah. So that's why I'm preparing this now because we're this weekend she's coming over. So we're going to be doing that. And I said, asked her what she wanted and, well, I asked her what kind of jar she wanted. So she told me she wants one for fun money, which is fine. So we're going to make one for fun money. And I'm just going around the edge. This one takes a little bit more because it's got the detailed grooves and I'm just trying to make sure. I get them all. Um, yeah. What's today? The 20th. All right. Yeah. All right. And then tomorrow. So she's actually, we're not celebrating this year on the 21st because, you know, but we're close to it because tomorrow would be the 21st and she's not coming over till Friday. So, yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna get my fingers dirty. Let's see if I can hold this Ugh, underneath. There we go. Ha ha. I am a master tactician at holding things without using my fingertips. I could be. I don't know what I could be. What skill would that be? Being able to hold something without using your fingertips. There we go. That's looking pretty snazzy. Let's rinse that black brush. And get in there. And the nice thing about acrylic, oh, not quite, is it was gonna say it dries pretty quickly. Mine's not, I should stop trying to pick it up. Mine, my lid, I was like, my lid's dry by now. No, it's not. It's not at all dry. And I just wiped my fingers on my shirt, which we can't see. But yeah, I got paint on my fingers already. Great. Off to a great start. Now, I don't know, so we're gonna set those aside. There we go. I should probably put that up there and move my jar in here. Haha, -ha, can you see it? No. Okay, we'll go back. 
just so you can see my lap a little bit. There we go, sort of, kind of. It's hard to get this thing at just the right angle. But now you can see my lap. Lovely. I got my skeleton pajama pants on. And then, so this is going to be, I don't know if this is a really bright green. So I, that's why I got the, the hookers green. Because she likes green, but I don't know how bright this green is. Oh, and that was stuck and I just got paint on my hand. Luckily, I don't think I got any on my shirt, but it's one good reason to wear black while you're painting. Although, you know, if you do care about your clothes, wear something you don't care about. If you're like me. Mmm, paint goobers, dried paint. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just put it in here. I need to get a new, a new napkin. So that is pretty vibrant green. Don't know how we're gonna feel about that color, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay, and which one do I want? I think this one. I'm trying to decide which paintbrush do I want. All right, that was an ear bubbles. Ear bubbles. All right. So basically, I'm just going to write on this jar what we want. We're going to paint some words as best we can. Fun. That's an F. It's a steady hand. Uh, fun. Fun. Fun sense. <laughs> That's a funny one. I was like, can I make it something else besides fun money? I can make it funny money. Um, I always like little puns. Fun sense, funny. I like funny money is the best I can do it. Funny. Hmm. Fun mula. Hmm. Can you just do a dollar sign? Yeah, we'll, we'll write out money. And just take your time nice and slow. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade. So if it's not perfect, that's okay. It kind of adds to the appeal. And I'm using a thin round brush. This is a number six. From Low Low Cornell, it's actually a watercolor brush, but it works fine. I have several other brushes over here that are round to smaller sizes, in case this one didn't work. But I think this one's working fine. I also have a flat brush, which is also watercolor. But this is going to be basic. And I'm just doing my nice, bestest printing. I'm not pushing too hard with a brush. Yeah. And then I'm also trying not to wobble all over the place, which I just did. So we're just going to change the way that Y looks. There we go. Fun money. And we're going to let that dry for a little bit. And then probably go back over it with a second coat to thicken it up. I'm running out of space. Too many things on the table. Too many jars. All right, and then the little one for me. Um, do I do another color or do I stick with the same color? I'm actually gonna try this blue and put it next to our, our stainless steel. And I'm gonna mix them together a little bit. 
just going to take a little bit of this stainless steel and mix it in with our blue. Make kind of a metallic blue, hopefully. I'm just using my brush to mix them because I don't have a palette knife that'll fit in there. The downside with using a brush to mix is now I'm getting tons of paint in the bristles that I don't necessarily need. Um, and that's not really working out for me. So I'm gonna rinse this really well, making sure I'm rubbing those bristles like, along the bottom of the jar. Don't wanna do that with a water, well, you could do it with a watercolor brush, but it's not as necessary. But the reason I'm doing this is to make sure I get all the paint out from in between the bristles. And then this is a smaller jar, so let's go with the smaller brush. This is gonna be a teeny tiny number one and this is from Artists Loft Necessities. I don't know if this is a watercolor or acrylic brush, but it has been used for watercolor. I know this because it has a wooden handle and it is slightly bent. I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can hold it. It's slightly warped and right there you can see some of the paints coming off because that means the handle got wet or sat in water and it, it warps a wooden handle brush and then therefore it's no longer as good. So I'm gonna roll this brush in here. This is a smaller jar. Um, so we're gonna make some nice lettering on here. This one's gonna be for offerings. Just taking my time like I did with the mo funny money. I'm going around best I can. That is really fat. Oh, can add a little bit of water to our paint. Just dip the brush in the water and pull it in. It's a little bit thick. That's okay. I'm gonna try and make it thinner. And if it's not perfect, like I said, that's okay. This is a handcraft. Just take your time. And you can make it a little bit fancy if you want. Since the first F was really close to the O, I made it at a slant. So now they're both at slants to match. Just adding a little more watering, watering, water. And instead of making this one all uppercase like the other one, I'm doing it lowercase, except for the O, which is a little more difficult, but that's okay. Just take your time. Try not to push too hard on the brush, otherwise your letters become really thick. So I've got offer. This one's going to wrap all <laughs> around it. Um, I do have a smaller brush than this. I have a zero. Yeah, I do have a zero here but I think this number one is gonna be fine. There you go, offer I, offer E. And if you have any work with calligraphy, that helps, because then you know like how to do the brush strokes around, oh no, get back the other way. Ah, watch my fingers on the other side, at the tail. Eh, eh, eh. There we go, offering. Okay, it's not the bit best, but it's, it's a start, it's a start. Touch that one off the top. There we go. Rinse our brush. Okay, this is pretty dry now. This is my lid with the stainless steel. So we'll get our big flat brush. <sighs> Need a drink. And then we're gonna dip in and come in here and go over it a second coat. And since most of the brush strokes the first time we're going this way, I'm going the opposite direction this way. 
try and fill in those brush strokes. Nice and So this is a craft I'm thinking of adding to my Etsy shop. Offering jars for wishes and tips and fun money or chocolate fund or hopes and dreams. Um, a gratitude jar. Whatever you can think to put in a jar. Ashes of my enemies. I like that one. That's always my favorite. Mm. There's a restaurant by me that has a jar that ashes of bad customers. Something like that. It's like, yep, I like that. All right. I think I got all the sides. Make sure we don't have any big glops as I drop it all over myself. Oh no. Okay. Um, I think that looks good. We'll scoot that over using the brush handle, I'm not touching it anymore so we don't drop it. And rinse the brush. Dry it off a little bit and then we'll come back in and do our black. Get this ready in the no fingers position. Get a little more. So the thing about acrylic is it does dry quickly. So wherever I have it in here, the palette, like this black, it's probably drying out. So I'm making sure I'm getting fresh paint. I mixed it with a little bit of water because this one was kind of uh, kind of thick and chunky. And then I'm just doing the same thing, kind of going in the opposite direction of the brush strokes that I used last time which we're going this way, and now I'm going this way. And that is covering nicely. And when you have a thick paint like this that's chunky, adding the water helps, one, helps it go on smoothly. Um, and well, mainly it helps it go on smoothly, but then you also are able to use less paint. So the paint goes farther. but it is also thinner, so it may not be as thick. You may have to do more coats, but I think this will be good. Rotate it in my fingers so I don't have to turn my hand upside down to get all the sides. And I think that's good. That looks nice and black. All right, could not tell that it was a pickle jar before. All right, let's take a moment, check on our lettering on the fun money. So I'm just gonna very carefully cap it with my finger and it's pretty dry. So we're gonna come back in, we were using the big brush here and go over it a second time as carefully as possible. Get that paint. Just trying to make it so it's not very see-through. But kind of, but without messing it up, I guess. Do your best. Like I started messing up the U, so I'm just going back with really short strokes. Instead of trying to do long ones. And I'm trying to put the paint on a little bit thicker than last time.
focused on the painting. This is when I wish I had music in the background. I haven't really looked into music during live streams. So I'm not sure what kind of music I could, could play. If it wouldn't get copyright. Ah. Okay, doesn't really look like much difference, but it is. And what we're gonna do is, well, we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here with our stainless steel, and we're gonna make a couple coin-like round things. Gosh, that's not very round at all. It's kind of round. Make sure I don't get my fingers in the paint. It's kind of round. It'll do. Put one over there, one over here. Imagine they're nickels and dimes and quarters. All right, we'll start with two for now. Um, And then on this side, on the opposite side, I think we're going to put a do nice dollar sign. Nice big dollar sign. Whew. Trying to keep my lines thin and that didn't work very well. Better if I can rest my hand. There we go. Here we go, nice dollar sign. Okay. And set up. Check the dryness on these. They're pretty dry. I feel like I want to do something different. Gonna do what I interpret to be leaves. Maybe not, but we'll see. Little groups of three leaves here and there on our offering jar. This will definitely take practice. All right. And that was using my teeny tiny zero brush. Get some little leaves on there. The lettering's okay, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm afraid I might mess it up. Hmm. I feel like we need some white. Ah, I dropped it. I don't think we're gonna need that one. The black. Do I have any white? That's the downside of having all these randoms is like, do I have a 
color I want. We have titanium white. Is that my only one? Yes, and apparently I have a fake credit card in here for spreading paint as well. I have a lot of yellows. I should do something with yellow. Because I have one, two, three, four yellows. Just four? Yeah, just four. Okay, so we've got white. Let's see what the consistency of this looks like. It looks pretty good from here. Yeah, it's not bad. Meow. My foot's fallen asleep. Okay, that's what happens when your feet really can't touch the ground. They just kind of do. All right. Like, hmm, what am I gonna do now? I kinda wanna do something with dots. So, we are. And actually, ooh, that's a good. I'm gonna take some of our blue and mix it with our white and make a lighter blue. And now I'm just painting little dots on my lid. There you go. Trying to evenly space them apart. Trying to make them all about the same size as well. But if they're not, like I said, it's handmade. It's okay if it's imperfect. There we go, we got little dots. And in the middle, I think we're gonna try and make a flower, perhaps. Just picking the center point and pulling little petals off the middle. That looks nice. Middle of our flower will be dark blue. Pretty. And then we'll add some of those same light blue flowers or dots around our words. Kind of making little flower clusters by our leaves, like so. Oop, that green was a little bit wet and it got into my blue. That was very wet. So I added water to the paint and made it very thin. So the, the dots are going a little bit differently. They're more bleeding into each other and that's okay. Just trying to give the impression of a flower, not really looking like a flower. Beautiful. I think while we're at it, we'll go back to our lid and add a few uh, leaves with the green. That 
There we go. That looks beautiful. All right. And I think on the top of hers, we're just going to... Hmm, should we make a smiley face? I think that sounds fun. What size brush are we going to use for that? Caesar number one. We're gonna make it in green. So I'm imagining the center of the lid, there's a little where it, the button where it pops up. I'm imagining that's the nose. Trying to give circle eyes, but <laughs> circles are not very well. Not working for me very well, but that's okay. And then a big smiley face. Or a big smile. Okay, it's smiley face. All right. This should be dry enough. We can come back over with our coins. Let's try this little flat brush. I'm not going to wet it. Just dipping into our stainless steel. There we go. Try not to go over it too many times because then I'm actually picking the paint up and making it go away. And we got one circle. And the other circle. And I got the black out and I thought it was I might do a detail on the words, but I think it's going to be fine. Let's see if we use this flat brush. Go over our dollar sign again. And the flat the reason I'm doing the flat brush is because it's going to give me a consistent width, more or less. Then trying to do it with a round brush. But pulling it off in places, so I'm just going to tap it. A light touch, don't really want to be dragging it with too much pressure. So I'm not pulling the paint off. There you go. Don't know what else we want to add to the fun money one. So 
while we're thinking about that, I'm going to come back to my offerings, take some of our white, just the tip of my br littlest brush. And we're going to make some dots on those white, on those blue flowers. Just like that, little, little dots on our blue flowers. Give it just a little extra detail. Give a little more definition to our blobs of blue. There we go. And we could do the same up here. So good detail on our blue flower. Ah, okay. Well, that'll teach me for not paying attention. I just stuck my brush in, instead of the water jar into the money jar and got paint on the bottom. So now I'm just going in with some water and washing it off the best I can. All right, so we've got our fun money. It's hard to see. Fun money. We have our black jar lid. She's still drying. And our offerings. It's time for a water break. And see if we can go over our coins with just a little bit of black on this teeny tiny brush. We're going to make a little scent sign. Boom! Perfect. Look at that. You'd think I was an artist or something. That is an awesome looking C. That one looks pretty good too. There you go. Those are pretty nice C's with lines through them for coins. So there's my funny money. I could go, hmm. Do I want black on the fun money? I don't know. I guess I could leave it for now. And decide later. All right, what time is it? 44 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's take a look at what we did because we didn't do a whole hell of a lot. Or I didn't. You didn't do anything. You just watched. So with this acrylic, I will have to take this into the sink and scrub the paint off, all the extra paint, wash it down the sink. Um, probably not the best thing to do with it. I don't know if it's good for the sewer or not, but if I don't, it'll just dry on there and then I'll have big globs of paint in there. So I try and rub it off, but it is water soluble. It will wash off with water. Same with my fingers and hands <laughs> will wash off with water. So we've got our fun money. I think that's the best view of it. Fun money with our little coins on the sides and our dollar sign on the back with our smiley face top. And then my little offering jar, offerings with little blue and white flowers. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can hold this up. <laughs> there we go. It's hard to see because it's so long. There's offerings. And funny money. Fun money. 
So thank you for tuning in for today's live art stream. Um, I will, I am planning to try streaming on Twitch at Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash dragon feathers this coming Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, we'll see if I can get it to work. Otherwise, I will see you next week or you can tune in and watch me on dragon feathers on YouTube and the link for that channel should be in the description. If not, I will try and leave a card to it up here. And until next time, take care, be good to yourself, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, great. I have to find the button. Hold on. Bye. Yes.